Hey, how are you? Doing good. I wanted to see if you have a box of nickels or pennies that I can buy. No? What about gold dollars? Is it 25? Yeah, you want a 50, I got another one. Yeah, give me two. There you go. Right back, okay? Okay. Okay, Paul, have a great one today. Thank you. We'll see you later. All right, bye-bye. All right, we scored two rolls of the gold dollars. Let's take those home and see if we can find anything in those. All right, so we are at home and we're gonna go ahead and open up this one here. Each roll is gonna come with $25, so 25 coins, there's the end. And we're looking for any silver ones first, any Susan B. Anthony's, and I did notice one. Usually you get a couple per roll, it seems like, but uh, this one only had one right there. These are generally gonna be a 1979, uh, but they could be a 1980 or an 81. This one's a 79, there is an error on the 79, the wide rim error. And this one did not have it, but I'm gonna show an example of the wide rim. Uh, definitely worth a lot of extra money if you find one. Uh, this one here is gonna be the presidential dollars. This one's a John Adams. So there's, you always wanna check for the lead, uh, edge lettering on these. That could be missing and it could also be doubled. So that is one thing on the presidential dollars that you wanna check for is the motto in God we trust and the date. Uh, the George Washington is the most common without the in God we trust, uh, the edge lettering. And then it gets harder and harder as you go uh, through the presidents like John Adams. You might find, you might find some, here's a, here's a George Washington. This would be the most common one to find with no edge lettering. Uh, unfortunately, this one does have it. There you can see. Uh, and likewise, on the uh, double edge lettering, the John Adams is going to be the most common one that you'll find with double edge lettering and uh, not so much on the George Washington. I believe this one was a Thomas Jefferson. I, doubled, I always flip my coins north to south to make sure there's no die rotation. Uh, other things to look for, the 2000P Sacagawea. There's a couple of errors on that. And uh, there's also a couple of different mules. What's a mule? A mule is when uh, you have two different types of denominations uh, minted on one coin. So there is a mule out there with uh, the gold dollar side and then the, the back side is the reverse of a quarter. So here is a 2000 P. So this one we want to look for the Cheerios dollar and the Wounded Eagle. The Wounded Eagle has two lines going through the midsection of the eagle. And the Cheerios dollar has extra details in the tail feathers. Uh, this one had neither of those, but I will show examples of those so you guys know what to look for. All right, let's continue on here. It's got the edge lettering. So far, everything looks correct. Here's a uh, Polk, Mr. James Polk. Looks good. It's got its edge lettering. All right, moving on. Let's see uh, the next one. We're gonna flip it north to south. And it's another John Adams, so we wanna check that edge lettering again. Make sure there's no double edge lettering. Okay, still got a few more coins here. And these are these are the gold dollars, guys. A lot of people don't check the gold dollars. They they miss out on the gold dollar errors. All right, this one uh, again. The edge lettering is there. And here is a 2000 P. So it's a Philadelphia. So again, we're looking for the Wounded Eagle or the Cheerios dollar. I don't see any gouges in the Eagle's breast feathers or midsection. And 
no extra details in those uh, tail feathers. So that's not a Cheerios dollar. All right, we got another John Adams. We're gonna check the edge lettering, make sure it's all there. It is there. And it doesn't really matter which way the edge lettering goes. Uh, it can be position A or position B. It doesn't really matter. Uh, people do collect both. So that means the lettering could be right side up or upside down uh, from the head side of the coin. It doesn't really matter. But there are examples where you can find both on a coin where it's right side up and upside down. So that would be an error. All right, more edge lettering there, looks good. Another, I believe that is another 2000 and P right there. All right, we're gonna check it. I always check them anyway. You should always check both sides of the coin for errors. Uh, this one did not have a wounded eagle or the Cheerios extra details, but you should always check. And another George Washington. Hopefully we can find one without edge lettering here. They made about 100 to 200,000 errors on those. So they are, there's a lot of them out there. This one did not have it. And that's gonna be it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. We'll see you next time. As always, happy hunting.